Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Ruger Security 9 Compact. New release from Ruger. It's a smaller model of the Ruger Security 9 that people love. When Ruger came out with the Security 9, they absolutely loved it. Ruger kept the price down. It's selling at your local gun store for right around $300. And the trigger action, the hammer fire mechanism was all taken from the LCP2 that, that people really liked. They added it to the Security 9 and many people really enjoyed this gun. And I'm one of them. I, I shoot it very well. And for right around $300 at your local gun store, I think it's a pretty good deal. But now they came out with a compact, which I consider a subcompact, but Ruger is calling this a compact. So there are no industry standards as to what is a subcompact, a compact, or a full-size gun. So it's Ruger's gun, so therefore it is a compact. They did the same thing with the American series. This is a Ruger American compact. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a great gun. I love the, the, this gun, but we'll just do a quick size comparison with the American Compact. Here we have the Security 9 Compact on the right-hand side, and there you go. The MSRP on this is $379. I'm seeing it on GunBroker already around $330. I think over time it'll be right where the Security 9 is around $300 but check this out 3.42 inch barrel which is identical to the Glock 26 10 round mags it does come with two 10 round mags both flat base plates they also add this finger extension in the in the box cardboard box and I added that on there because I do like the three finger contact that that offers it does not change the capacity at all okay you can see it's not a plus two or plus one or anything like that but much like the security nine it does have a sandpaperish texturing nice nice grip there feels nice a little bit of an undercut there it does have the thumb safety all right and so a lot of people like that it is it is indented enough so it will not it should not engage or deploy at all with regular use but one quick sweep down with the thumb makes it available a lot of people like thumb safeties all right we tend to think that you know they're they're a pain nobody likes them they can get in the way a lot of people use thumb safeties trust me but the trigger action is the same okay nice trigger pull there and then your reset you're looking at almost at full position not quite right there now it, it is a pretty quick trigger it does have a trigger bar safety it is a hammer fired gun exact same as the security nine it does have drift adjustable rear sights u notch there front dot in with the front sight it does have front serrations and a a rail an accessory rail or, or 1913 rail there for the accessories they did a nice job with this I, I think they did an excellent job also while keeping the weight down I noted before with the security 9 it's lighter than the average compact size gun this is too from what I can see witness hole there witness hole there two 10 round magazines they did a pretty nice job let's go ahead and get it on the scale I have this one here that is loaded so we'll go ahead and check out the unloaded weight with this mag here and we'll see that it's weighing in at one pound five and seven eighths ounces we move that to just ounces we're looking at 21 and seven eighths ounces let's add 10 rounds here all right the mag does have witness holes on both sides so you can see that is a true 10 rounds 25 and seven eighths here's your round in the chamber for the carry weight 26 and a quarter ounces so that is not bad and i think ruger did a nice job glass filled nylon is nice let's take a look at how it compares with a couple other guns in the same class we'll start out with the walther ppq subcompact the slide length a little longer with the walther about a half inch both of these carry 10 rounds.
And then here we have the Taurus G2C. All right, this one's a little bit shorter, by about a quarter of an inch. And there's what we're looking at with the grip. 12 rounds with the Taurus. And here we have the Glock 26. Now these are pretty identical. You will note that it is very much similar in size and weight. The disassemble process with this all right, is not hard at all, but it does have a pin there that needs to be taken down. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I find it easiest just to take a, a pocket knife and to pull that pin out, you just have to give it a little turn there underneath. Here we have a captured recoil spring and guide rod. And here is your barrel. It does have an integrated barrel bushing right there. So uh, it looks kind of cool. It, it, it's pretty tight. You know, it's, there's, no, there's no wobble with it when manipulating the slide. And there's your frame the glass filled nylon is different than polymer it, it's very close but it has a little different feel and you those who who uh feel ruger guns know what i mean that, that glass filled nylon just has a little different feel to it and here we're gonna put that part up yeah a little different feel to it and many people love it. This is a nice gun. I think it will do well, well for Ruger. And I will be taking this to the range and taking you guys along. Check it out. Should be fun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.